guys, what is going on? My name is Virtual Riot and today we're going to make a bass sound from scratch. So instead of me showing you a project file and a bass sound I have almost no memory of making, uh, we'll go through the step by step and you can see everything, every single thing I do. So we'll just start from the inner patch. We might even make our own wavetable, why not? Let's take something, I don't know, something from Splice, uh, like a... I don't know, weird glitchy sound I recently downloaded. These are all kinds of random splice sounds I found rather useful. That one could be cool. So just drag it and drop it into this little window here. So um, I explained how all these work in my one hour uh, serum video, so I'm not going to do that now. This might take a while. There's just different import methods here. I'm just going to go on um, normal and let's see what that did. Sick. That's already pretty good, actually. <laughs> so, as you can hear, this is very chunky. So, if I skip from from frame to frame, you can you can hear how it how it like yeah. There's no transition. So, first of all, I'm gonna delete all the empty frames back here. So, remove selected till end. Now we only got 34 frames. And to make this sound a little nicer, we are going to, first of all, X-fade the edges, so it's not going to sound weird and clippy, and normalize them all, and then morph with... I like crossfade a little bit more than spectral, actually. I think it... I think it sounds a little bit better. Why not that? That's not bad. Uh, to get more of a 1, 2, 1, 2 feeling, we could now half the speed of the second LFO, so we get... Uh, so already two different versions of this bass there, and this is only the wavetable, so... Um... So we still have the clarity of the single voice oscillator, plus the added messiness from the effects. I think that's really cool, especially to get a mono sound, sound rather wide. You can do the same thing with the chorus. Uh, in here as well, so I'll turn the hyper off and we just listen to the chorus. So I'll take off, take off the low pass filter. Um, so I will turn the rate to be really fast. A uh, little, little thing I like to do here all the time is um, I don't know how to change from uh, the, the um, LFO applyment, how it's, how it's being applied from, as you can see, unipolar or bipolar. I know how to change them, but I don't know how to do it once in the moment you drag it over. So what I want here is I don't want the level to go from 0 to 100 over here, but I actually want the middle of the knob to be the middle of the whole LFO range. So I'll go into the matrix, go for 1, modulating the noise level, just click this little arrow and it goes bipolar. So now it looks like that. And if I move it all the way down, the noise is actually only coming in in the upper half of this LFO. Making it a little bit more percussive, a little less messy. All right. Um, a really cool thing you can do with the delay here is add a bit of an um, eighth note slapback thing, sort of. So keep that all the way down. And let's link him with the BPM to like one eighth. So that's kind of cool for a uh, swampy, rhythmy delay tail. And um, then just add the fat rack. I don't know if sound good. Let's see. Nice. <laughs> so no, what this is is it's a little effects chain I made that is just a combination of a bunch of saturators in a row with OTT at the end, and um, this macro just turns them all up a tiny bit. So it's kind of a mixture of OTT and sources fat rack. So without it. And then I'll slowly mix it in. Just makes it denser and louder. Uh, and we all know that is always better. <laughs> when I'm bored, I like to do stuff in virtual reality. It's not on right now, though. I'm just looking at a black screen. What the hell am I doing? <laughs> 